Welcome to the second installment of the SHC Logistics Work Methods training videos. In this module, we'll be teaching the fundamentals and required methods for order fill operations. Work Methods is a prescriptive training process to tell and show you the best techniques and methods to accomplish your work. We're a company still merging our diverse freight handling methods, unique cultures, and different processes to accomplish our daily work. It is imperative to meet current economic challenges that we align and bring consistency in how we manage our operations. We've produced this video series to ensure the alignment of our processes and work. This investment in training, which touches each associate, will improve our business results through balance execution, focusing on labor by working smarter, reducing touches, which results in productivity improvements. Safety, each one of us working safely to protect ourselves and each other. Inventory, handling inventory discrepancies correctly. Quality, by making sure we pick the right location, the right item, and the right quantity every time. As the logistics operations team, our mission is to ensure we win in the marketplace by delivering great logistics solutions to our customers at the right cost. We can only accomplish our mission by maintaining our four strategic priorities. Performance accountability. Everyone owns our results. Each of us is accountable to learn and follow the prescribed work methods. Operations performance. We target best in class performance in all areas and following these work methods will get us to best in class performance. Customer. We will deliver great service and quality to our stores and customers. By following work methods, we can deliver consistent service and quality to our stores. People matter. We will engage, train, and coach our associates to exceed expectations. Each of you will learn the required work methods and thereby your DC will exceed expectations, doing better year after year. This is the beginning, not the end. We'll see more modules over time to address each functional area in your DC. This will give us a competitive advantage and continue to drive results that support Sears Holdings winning every day. We expect our results to get better from this training investment in each of you. In the end, your hard work and effort will be our competitive advantage and our survival depends on it. Thank you. Hi Dustin, I appreciate you spending time with me today. You know so much about the order filling process, I'm sure your years of experience will add great value to the Work Methods in Initiative. Yes, this sure is exciting, getting a chance to share that with you. Well, let's not waste any time, let's get started. ACD Order Filling, Function Codes 62 and 291. So here's the ACD area. In ACD, we're opening the trailer and unloading conveyable merchandise onto a conveyor that sends freight to the shipping lanes. So we start by opening the dock door, engaging the trailer lock system. Once secure, the associate sets the dock plate and rate positions the dock light into the trailer. Why do they need the dock light? Quick visual of the working area. In order to validate the trailer and working space are safe from slip and trips. Also, to validate the correct batch by selecting the first case, verifying batch number on the label. So every DC may have more specific dock setup rules, but whatever rules are in place in your DC should be followed without fail. When the associate goes to the assigned dock, they must make sure the proper supplies and equipment are available, like a batch plan, safety step stool, roll of tape, and batch totes. And they must verify the trailer, dock, and batch before loading the cartons. Don't forget to complete the ProRep card so you have the correct function code and start and end times. Keep moving the extendable while unloading, minimizing the travel. As they pick, they choose the first carton at the top of the trailer carton wall, nearest the extendable, and place on the conveyor belt. Carton handling. Place case on conveyor belt with label facing up. Place case on conveyor belt in single file. When possible, select multiple cases at a time and place on conveyor. On trailers where there are multiple batches loaded, look for the visual cue. 
like paper or plastic, to know when there's a batch change. Per DC guidelines, end the batch. Associates get the number of cartons they worked from their supervisor at the end of the shift and write it on their pro rep cards. Some things to keep in mind when working in ACD. Always make sure the dock has been locked before entering the trailer. Report unsafe load conditions immediately. Ensure we place cartons for the correct batch on the belt. Understand how to handle exceptions like unlabeled or damaged freight. Never double stack on the belt. Understand what conveys in your building. Place the carton on the center of the belt to prevent jams. Place cartons with the longest side parallel to the conveyor and towed on time. So, if we had to list it out, the things an associate should focus on are Safety. By following the safe lifting guidelines, preventing accidents and injuries. Use the safety step stool when lifting cartons over your head. The next item is quality. We need to make sure we verify the correct batch. If we damage or deface product, we impact our bottom line. Our customers need us to deliver what they order. Productivity. When we provide the stores, our customers, with the right merchandise and do it with production in mind, we help to sell that product at the right cost. You can help by understanding the role you play by achieving your REs, going to and returning from breaks in a timely manner, being engaged during meetings, along with offering suggestions to improve performance. I agree those are the things we should focus on. Case Pack Online Pick, function codes 501 to 549. So, moving over to Case Pack, let's observe Craig, one of our experienced order fillers. Each associate has a pick, can, or apron they use to hold labels. This helps them to have both hands free if need be. Before beginning picking, verify that the location and product match the label. Label application is important. Place a label on a clean surface is key. I see he also avoids placing the label on the seam, overhanging the side, or covering up any important details. Any issues where the label barcode is wrinkled or not properly or fully shown will cause a no read by our scanner. To avoid jams, place the cases in the center of the belt. To prevent damage, never drop or throw cases. You should pick by layer, not by wall. Stepping down is needed. Ultimately, we want to follow our safe lifting guidelines and not reach, grab, or lift in a way that might cause injury. Label handling. Keep labels in front of you. Avoid folds, wrinkles, or tears. No label overhang. Avoid placement on seams of case. Avoid placing label on G10 barcode. And whenever possible, avoid key selling presentation. Clean the surface as needed to avoid the label blowing off. Carton handling. Orient case long and low on takeaway belt. Providing case does not exceed the belt size. Place with care to avoid damage. Allow the label backing to trail you and remove it once you're at the next trash receptacle. Check the label backing so that no labels were missed. Handle multiple cases at a time whenever possible. Always focus on making each step count and not moving backwards. Whenever a case is out of arm's reach, use a pick hook in a sweeping motion to pull the cases towards you without damaging product. I see another responsibility of the order filler is to remove their empty pallets and drop them off in the pallet return, neat and square. Yes, and once at the proper height, he pushes out for retrieval. Then an RSR driver will pull the empties. Pallet pullers are used to pull pallets forward. They can be found throughout the module. You should always pull pallets forward before picking. Always clean as you go, never backtrack, and always move forward. That's a great example of picking multiple cartons and placing on the belt in one movement. If a carton is damaged but not the sellable unit, we can do quick fixes with our tape. I see the tape on their belt. Very handy. Follow your DC guidelines concerning handling of potential markouts. At the end of a batch, place the tote on the belt immediately after the last carton is picked and call the merge with module name and batch number. Update pro rep card with a final count of labels or picks completed. Once done, start picking the next batch. I think the keys to picking on a conveyor belt are understand the safety systems and pinch points, clean as you go, always use proper lifting techniques, keep the load close to your body, always bend at the knees, understand the module indicators and the SOP for handling of jams, pull empty pallets as you pick, 
Follow the stacking guidelines. Make sure to place the carton on the center of the belt to prevent jams. Place cartons with labels facing up. Keep cartons in single layers. Never double stack on the belt. Place cartons with the longest side parallel to the conveyor. Follow DC specific guidelines for slot consolidation. So, if we had to list it out, what are the things an associate should focus on? Working safely means being aware of your surroundings. Be focused. Never walk out on the grating between the rollers. When bending into a slot, always be careful not to strike your head. Be sure of your footing. Follow safe lifting guidelines and clean as you go to avoid slip and trip hazards. Report all unsafe conditions to management. The next item is quality. Validate we're picking the correct merchandise. When we mispick product, we not only impact store inventory, but open up the opportunity for potential out at the store, creating lost sales. If we damage or deface product, we impact our bottom line. Our customers need us to deliver what they order. Productivity. When we provide the stores, our customer, with the right merchandise and do it with production in mind, we help to sell that product at the right cost. You can help by understanding your role you play by achieving your REs, going to and returning from breaks in a timely manner, being engaged during meetings, along with offering suggestions to improve performance. I agree that those are the things we should focus on. Case Pack Order Filling Mops, Function Code 189. Would you like to see mops in action? Well, yes. Mops are multiple stores orders on a single SKU pallet, brought to a designated location by a replenishment driver for a badge. We label and place the cartons on the belt, with all the cartons being picked, leaving no residue. Order fillers are responsible for empty pallet handling. To start off, the associate pulls the labels and validates the merchandise. Pick cases in the safest manner, by tier or stepping down. Keep the master label. It's part of the checking process at the end of the batch. Label handling. Avoid folds, wrinkles, tears and labels. No label overhang. Avoid placement on seams of case. Avoid placing label on the G10 or barcode. And whenever possible, avoid key selling presentation. Carton handling. Orient case long and low on a takeaway belt, providing case does not exceed the belt size. Place with care to avoid damage. Allow label backing to trail you and remove once at the next trash receptacle. Check label backing so that no labels were missed. Handle multiple cases at a time when possible. Always focus on making each step count and not moving backwards. Once the last carton has been picked, follow safe lifting techniques. Place the empty pallet in the closest empty pallet holding area. And they do a great job of cleaning as they go, making sure the trash goes into the trash barrels. At the end, complete the ProRep card with case counts based on the number of labels picked. I think the keys to mops picking are these. Understand the safety systems and pinch points. Clean as you go. Always use proper lifting techniques. Keep the load close to your body. Always bend at the knees. Understand the module indicators and the SOP for handling jams. Pull empty pallets following stacking guidelines. Place the cartons on the center of the belt to prevent jams. Place cartons with labels facing up. Keep cartons in single layers, never double stack on the belt. Place cartons with the longest side parallel to the conveyor. So, if we had to list it out, what are the things an associate should focus on? Working safely means being aware of your surroundings. Be focused. Always be sure of your footing. Follow safe lifting guidelines. Clean as you go to avoid slip and trip hazards. Immediately report all unsafe conditions to management. The next item is quality. Validate we are picking the correct merchandise. When we mispick product, we not only impact store inventory, but open up the opportunity for potential out at the store, creating lost sales. If we damage or deface product, we impact our bottom line. Our customers need us to deliver what they order. Productivity. When we provide the stores our customer with the right merchandise and do it with production in mind, we help to sell that product at the right cost. You can help by understanding the role you play by achieving your REs, going to and returning from breaks in a timely manner, and being engaged during meetings, along with offering suggestions to improve performance. I agree those are the things we should focus on.
Repack Replenishment, function code 39. So we're going to follow a repack replenishment driver. The driver is responsible for pulling cases from reserve and placing in backstock. Yes, and the backstock location is where the stocker cutter will prepare and then stock the pick location. Once the associate completes the equipment checklist, they log into WMS. The process is very easy. The associate travels to the location displayed on the RF screen and positions the stock picker close to the pick location, reducing reach. Steps to pulling work unit. Key the check digit confirming the location. Verify the description and location on the RF match the pick location and cases. Follow exception process for any discrepancies. Record on a generic label the selection location and number of cases for that work unit. Scan the generic label. Pull cases and place in basket. Apply the label adjacent to the case, G10, or barcode. Organize cases in the basket and drop off order. Continue pulling cases until the basket is full. Once the basket is full, drive to the drop location written on the generic label and place cases in the backstock bay, with the generic label facing towards the module and away from the stock picker. Once done with work assignments, log off WMS and park equipment at the designated area and complete the ProRep card, including the number of cases picked. I think the keys to working with repack replenishment are organize cases in the baskets and drop off order to reduce travel time. If merchandise in the reserve does not match the required item, abandon the work unit. Drop off cases as close to the selection location as possible. Stack cartons in single file order on the backstock shelves and place the generic label facing the stocker cutter. So if we had to list it out, what should an associate focus on? Safety. Follow the safe lifting guidelines. Prevent accidents or injuries. Be careful with equipment, ensuring you're aware of what's happening around you, above and below. Always use the proper personal protective equipment, or PPE. The next item is quality. Validate we're picking the correct merchandise. When we mispick product, we not only impact store inventory, but open up the opportunity for potential out at the store, creating lost sales. If we damage or deface product, we impact our bottom line. Our customers need us to deliver what they order. Productivity. When we provide the stores, our customer, with the right merchandise and do it with production in mind, we help to sell that product at the right cost. You can help by understanding the role you play by achieving your REs, going to and returning from breaks in a timely manner, being engaged during meetings, along with offering suggestions to improve performance. I agree. Those are the things we should focus on. Repack Stocker Cutter, function code 43. Let's go watch a stocker cutter in action. They're vital to the accuracy and productivity of our repack area. Really? How so? They scan and validate cases from the back stock location, cut open, and present for order filling. Watch Donna scan the work unit, and then the G10 barcode. She checks the RF screen for the replenishment code. If an R or D displays, she'll cut the case with her safety knife. She cuts the top off and down a minimum of one corner to help the picker. She also verifies that the remaining cases match the last four digits of the G10 number and applies her stamp ID to each case before putting in the selection location. Make sure the cases flow properly in the roller prime slot, using a pick hook or slot pole to push cases down the rollers. Any items that don't fit in the slot, follow your DC guidelines for handling. Don't forget, discard the corrugate in designated location. While the associate is working, she pays close attention to safety. Safe cutting includes using an approved safety knife, wearing a safety glove on non-cutting hand, remaining attentive to the task, and cutting carefully. When she's done, she'll log off the RF scanner system, return equipment, and complete any necessary housekeeping. And completes her pro rep card. Yes, that too. The keys to working as a repack stocker cutter are use safety knife and glove, properly dispose of used blades, Always use the RF to verify G10, barcode, pack, description, and location. Cut the outer box neatly. Do not cut the inner product. Do a minimum of one cut down an outside edge for picker access. Clean as you go. Ensure proper fit of product and slot. Push the product all the way to the front of the slot. Clean up all scraps. Use your stamp. 
follow building procedures for slot constraints, report all potential shrink issues immediately, and remember, you control the outcome for the picker, as well as the store results with your accuracy. So, if we had to list it out, what are the things an associate should focus on? Work safely and be aware of your surroundings. Always be sure of your footing. Keep the work area clear of slip, trip, and fall hazards. The next item is quality. Validate we're stocking the correct merchandise. When we miss slot product, we not only impact store inventory, but open up the opportunity for potential out of stock at the store, creating lost sales. If we damage or deface product, we impact our bottom line. Our customers need us to deliver what they order. Productivity. When we provide the store, our customer, with the right merchandise and do it with production in mind, we help to sell that product at the right cost. You can help by understanding the role you play by achieving your REs, going to and returning from breaks in a timely manner, being engaged during meetings, along with offering suggestions to improve performance. I agree. Those are the things we should focus on. Hi Dustin, I appreciate you spending time with me today. You know so much about the order filling process, I'm sure your years of experience will add great value to the Work Methods in Initiative. Yes, this sure is exciting, getting a chance to share that with you. Well, let's not waste any time, let's get started. Repack Online Pick Caps, function code 610 through 640. We're going to watch an online order filler. They pick from the slots that the stalker cutter fills. Let's go watch Lori. She starts by going to the module computer to retrieve pick labels and key her associate number, then reviews her pick label assignment number and types or scans her assignment number into the matching field. She goes to the terminal and types in her associate number. The terminal displays the total picks for the store. She then reviews cube information at the top of the pick label to determine what carton, based on size, she needs to make. If she's picking multiple stores, she places the pick label in a temporary position for visibility during picking. Typically, one carton is necessary for one store, but depending on pick quantity for that store, the store might require multiple cartons. If multiple cartons are necessary, create cartons as needed to minimize travel during picking. Right. So once she has the boxes, she goes to the bay location and presses next on the bay LED display. The LED shows the store number and quantity of picks at each location. Once the pick location illuminates, the pick quantity is displayed at the pick slot. Press the confirmation button for that location. Place the picks in the carton, maximizing the carton cube, and repeat this step. Once the screen shows ahead, proceed to the next bay. What if there were short picks in the slot? If there are not enough picks in the location, write the selection location number on the carton flap along with picks needed. Then place the cart in the appropriate area, per your DC guidelines. Once the carton is full, press Box Full. Verify the shipping label matches the LED display, and as long as they both match, close the carton and place the label on the top. Then place the cart in the middle of the belt to eliminate chance of jams or falling off. Basically, continue the process until all picks are complete. I think the keys for repack picking are identify the cartons needed by cube on the label. After boxes are made, place on the rollers and clip together. Place store labels on the cartons. In caps order, pick the flashing light and hit next for your next store. If picking more than one store, pick the product and identify it with the labels on the front of the pick location. This ensures accuracy. Place leftover labels in designated area. Understand how to handle shorts and damages per DC guidelines. Clean as you go. Ensure you have the correct assignment label with the correct carton. Validate each slot. Pick the correct batch. Maintain focus and avoid idle chatter. Place liquids in an upright position to avoid damage and tote on time. So, if we had to list it out, what are the things an associate should focus on? Working safely means being aware of your surroundings. Be focused. Always be sure of your footing. Follow safe lifting guidelines. Clean as you go to avoid slip and trip hazards, and report all unsafe conditions to management. The next item is quality. Validate we're picking the correct merchandise. When we mispick product, we not only impact store inventory, 
but open up the opportunity for a potential out at the store, creating lost sales. If we damage or deface product, we impact our bottom line. Our customers need us to deliver what they order. Productivity. When we provide the stores, our customer, with the right merchandise and do it with production in mind, we help to sell that product at the right cost. You can help by understanding the role you play by achieving your REs, going to and returning from breaks in a timely manner, being engaged during meetings, along with offering suggestions to improve performance. I agree. Those are the things we should focus on. Repack Online Pick Paper, function codes 615 through 645. We're going to watch a repack order filler who picks from a paper list. Let's watch Lori. She checks the cube information at the top of the pick sheet to determine carton size and number needed. She pre-builds boxes. Holding the pick list with her preferred hand, she moves to the first location listed on the pick list. Like other order fillers, she validates that the location and the product description match her pick list. Then, she picks the quantity indicated by the pick list. And places picks inside the carton, maximizing carton cube. Then she confirms picks with a check mark on her pick list. What if there were short picks in the slot? If there is a missing pick, circle the missing picks in the pick list. Continue picking into the designated carton. Spot this carton to be researched for a potential markout at the end of the pick leg. She proceeds to the next pick location indicated by the pick list and continues picking. When the pick list indicates the end of the designated label assignment, she closes the carton. She attaches the correct label and places the carton in the middle of the belt. Once all picks are completed on the pick list, proceed to the assignment desk and select the next assignment, repeating the picking process. At the end of the day, make sure to list all picks for the day on the pro rep card. The keys for repack picking to paper are apply the correct label matching the pick list, identify the cartons needed by cube from the pick list, make sure boxes are conveniently located throughout the module, validate the product description, quantity, and location from the pick list, follow DC guidelines for handling shorts and damages, and complete the batch on time. So if we had to list it out, what are the things an associate should focus on? Working safely means being aware of your surroundings. Stay focused. Always be sure of your footing. Follow safe lifting guidelines. Clean as you go to avoid slip and trip hazards. Report all unsafe conditions to management. The next item is quality. Validate we're picking the correct merchandise. When we mispick product, we not only impact store inventory, but open up the opportunity for a potential out at the store, creating lost sales. If we damage or deface product, we impact our bottom line. Our customers need us to deliver what they order. Productivity. When we provide the stores our customers with the right merchandise and do it with production in mind, we help to sell that product at the right cost. You can help by understanding the role you play by achieving your REs, going to and returning from breaks in a timely manner, being engaged during meetings, along with offering suggestions to improve performance. I agree. Those are the things we should focus on.